everybody's always talking about coffee enemas. Coffee enemas, coffee enemas, coffee enemas. But coffee is not the only thing that you can give yourself an enema with. So if you have irritable bowel syndrome, like if your intestines are cramping, a lot of times people with irritable bowel or Crohn's, they eat something and it's like a switch. They're, they get cramps and trust me, those cramps are terrible. If you've ever had to go diarrhea really bad and there's no toilet in sight, you know when you're holding that, that's the kind of cramps. You get cramps and you're gonna have to get to a toilet usually pretty fast or else it's gonna be like a Picasso in your house or your underwear. So, irritable bowel, anything to do with your stomach, uh, chamomile. So, you do it the same way that you would with coffee. So, this one here, this is Nature Restore Organic Chamomile. Always use organic because organic means there's not going to be any chemicals. And your intestines, it absorbs everything so quickly. It goes right to your bloodstream. So a lot of people misuse their intestines. They do drugs with their butt. Hey, man, you want to smoke a joint? They're not going to smoke a joint with their bum, but a lot of... It goes way back to the Mayan. I remember we were studying about the Mayans and I read about the coffee enema all the way back then, but they used to put hallucinogenics in their cans too, and uh, the stuff they used to do back then. Anyway, so you do it the same way. You take your chamomile. This one, you can either do it in a pot like your coffee or in the pour over. I would just do the pour over because you're probably not going to do this all the time. And this Nature Restore, look at all the beautiful flowers in there. You can grow your own chamomile. It's actually pretty easy and it thrives. But Nature Restore, just look at that. That is just beautiful. So, as usual, you just boil some water. I usually let it get up to the green line. Of course, it's not the green line now. It's not a huge deal. It's the temp. And then you just pour it in, get them nice and wet. That's why I like this kettle because you can really, you know, pinpoint where you're pouring the water and get them all wet so that everybody's adding to the party. Once everybody's wet, you know, you can just go all in. Always, always, always make sure before you do your enemas, always make sure that your liquid that you're putting in your enema is cool enough that you don't hurt yourself. I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you that. It should be common sense. But it's not always. Uh, I was helping somebody with an enema once. And what I was doing was I was giving them step by step. I set everything up and then through the door told them, you know, do this, do that, do this. And they skipped a step. They did not put any cold water into their coffee. And thank God they were having trouble. And so I, I walked, I, I came in and I felt, I was like, oh my God, this could have been terrible. So I fixed that. Just always make sure it's cool. Another thing, if you always have irritable intestines cramping, you can just add the chamomile right in with your coffee. What do I mean by that? Take your chamomile, you can use fresh, put it in with your coffee. And 
let it boil a little bit, just like you were making a coffee enema. So you're doing coffee and chamomile. So you're getting the coffee to help dilate your liver and the chamomile to relax your intestines. It actually works fantastic. Oh, oh, I, I always forget if I tell people. Another thing is to add some Himalayan sea salt, like a tablespoon if you're making a big pot. Um, a lot of times when you're not feeling well, your sodium, and it's, it's a different, I know sodium's bad, but when you're putting it in your coffee for your enema, it's, it's actually just different than if you were going to um, be taking and putting it all on your food. A lot of times when you're not feeling well, you don't absorb properly, and your body actually needs salt. It needs it. So, yeah, I usually put a little bit of Himalayan pink. You can use whatever kind you want. But again, you, you want to use like a sea salt, something that is more of a natural thing that nobody's messed with. So yeah, so just there's my coffee. Now it has the chamomile in it. And then here is my straight out chamomile. Let it cool. And then, or, you know, you can just add a couple of ice cubes to it to calm it down, cool it down. Another thing. There's even more. More, I say? Yes, more. What else could you do? Let's say you're so-and-so, or you, you have cancer, or some illness that is preventing you from eating and getting the nutrients, you're throwing up. You could do, make yourself your carrot juice with your apples. You could actually give yourself a carrot juice enema. And you're like, what the hell? But yes. Your body is absorbing the nutrients so much better through your intestines than it, it would be if you ate it or drank it. So you're not feeling well, your disease is progressing, you can't eat, you're throwing up all the time. I'm not saying that you can, you know, mummify a steak or liquefy a steak and give yourself a steak enema. <laughs> I'm saying like for nutrients, carrots, uh, that's like, you know, um, how they used to give, they give people suppositories when they're throwing up, um, an anal suppository. That's because it goes right to your bloodstream. It is like quickly absorbed. So you do the carrot juice and it's, it's like direct. It's just pretty amazing. I mean, there's so many things that you can benefit by doing with your enemas. Um, it's, it's just, you just have to have an open mind, you know? You can't be closed off thinking that sounds crazy, because it does sound crazy. And it kind of is, but research shows that when you give yourself an enema, it is absorbed quickly and... Like I said, you're, you're sick, you can't eat. There's a lot of cancer patients that cannot eat and drink and they're not getting those nutrients. And when I was really sick, I had a sepsis where I almost died. And that's when I learned it. My friend sent me an article of course, it's always people, friends from other countries that send me the really progressive stuff. Come on up, bud. You have to check and see if I had food or something. So anyway, yeah, from another country. The washer just puked some water in a bucket. Um, another country is who gave me the article to read. And help. It always, he always helps me, him and his wife. His wife has cancer. She's had it for so many years, and she's still here. Anyway, give these things a try. 
one day you're not feeling well, you're sick, even if you're not disease sicken, you will be amazed. Carrot juice enema, it's like you're getting a big ass shot of vitamin C in your bum. And it goes straight to your bloodstream and straight to your organs. I mean, just think of it. They always say how vitamin C is so good for you. So, you give yourself a carrot juice. I usually do carrots and apples. And uh, you don't have to, you can just do straight carrot juice. Because I, I, when I drink it, I like the apples because it sweetens it more. But of course, you're not going to taste anything in your butt. So, just try it. Let me know how you feel. The chamomile for you, if you have lots of cramping in your intestines, you will be amazed. It's like instant relief. When you're sitting on the toilet giving yourself an enema or standing, however you do it, um, it calms your intestines down instantly. You're going to be like, thank you, Diane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. I wish that doctors were more on track and telling us to do these things instead of, you know, here, take a pill. I know there's some side effects that may kill you, but take the pill. I hope you don't see anything in my nose. I have Vicks in my nose. I, after my fall, for some reason, I got sores all inside my nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am suffering greatly. My ribs hurts to breathe, my back, you name it. What do you want, Mr. Buddies? What do you want? Well, come up here. Ow! Oh, what are you stepping on me for? You can't get up there. You're too fat. Come here, you. What's the matter? It's raining here, and he probably has to use the bathroom. He's probably got poopies to go. But it's raining, so he goes out, he pees, and runs in. So he's so distraught over needing to take a poop. So he's here with me now. He's finally relaxing. I know I don't have any pants on, as usual. Bob, is the camera looking at you? Hello, I got the poop and it's raining out. I wish it would stop raining so I can drop the kids off at the pool. So yeah, please try the carrot juice. Please try the chamomile. And then let me know how it goes. Always make sure everything is organic because if it's not organic, you are introducing chemicals into your bloodstream in a quick, painful way. Not painful, you know what I mean definitely don't want to be putting chemicals in like somebody I had talked to a year or so ago they were like I gotta use decaf because uh you know I can't take the caffeine it the caffeine in your bum does not act the same way as caffeine when you drink it and so she I was like you can't use the decaffeinated because they use chemicals to decaffeinate it so anyway you don't want to be putting those chemicals into your body so let me know how you do. Chamomile, you can either just do it flat out by itself or add it to your coffee. I usually do it separate. If I'm lazy, I will do it together. Uh, I made a big pot with a chamomile in it. I've actually been having a lot of cramps lately with my irritable bowels. My bowels are irritable. But definitely, if you are sickly or have somebody that is sickly, you can give them, if you have somebody bedridden even, you can give them an enema. You don't have to put in a boatload to where they're going to be uncomfortable. You can put in like eight ounces. It doesn't have to be a lot. So you don't have to go overboard when you're doing like a carrot juice enema. And the longer they keep it in, the better. So if you put in four ounces, they're not even going to have to go. Try eight ounces, or you could just come back and do four ounces later. You know what I'm saying. You don't have to put in a big old bag of carrot juice. You want them to be able to hold it in so that it can be absorbed. And so if they're really sickly, I would go for four ounces out of whack. Give them four ounces, let them sit and relax. Maybe an hour later, do another four ounces, that kind of thing. So just a little so that they can hold it in. You can actually do the same with a chamomile because you want to hold it in so that it relaxes all your intestines. And you are going to be amazed at what that does for you. So comment below. Let me know how it's going for you. I hope I help somebody somehow with all my crazy enema videos.
but I'm actually getting ready to go do mine right now. And I mean, a lot of people are like, take us with you. I think it's mainly perverts though. So I'm, I usually only try to do the animal ones when somebody asks me a serious question. Um, because it is different sitting down on the toilet and doing it. Usually you're laying on your side. Um, so I did do more just because people are like, I don't get it. I don't know how to do this or that. Um, 